Hey guys, so um, I know Easter is coming up and um, we have a family recipe that I can't find a recipe for anywhere online. It's a Slovakian dish called Siduk. It's pronoun uh, pronounced Siduk, uh, spelled C-I-R-O-K. So what I was going to do was just um, walk you through real quick how we make it and then actually make it for you. Um, I won't bore you with all of the steps because some of them are pretty long and you don't want to watch me stir this for 40 minutes because that would not be fun. But um, yeah, so here are the ingredients. Um, I'll also share the recipe online, but um, I've already broken up the eggs or yeah, open the eggs uh, and it takes a half a gallon of milk. So I've already measured that out. Um, it's going to, you're going to need a cheesecloth for this. Um, what I recommend though is that you actually rinse this off before you use it because one time I made it and it ended up having little fuzzes all over it because I didn't rinse it first. Um, but yeah, I've already got everything all measured out. So um, now it's just a matter of mixing it all together, putting it over heat for a while, and um, I'll show you the, the hanging process of it in a little while. Okay, so here we go, mixing all the ingredients together. It's probably gonna be messy. <laughs> okay, so we've got 12 eggs, a half a gallon of milk. There's a half a cup of sugar that goes into this. And then just a sprinkle of salt. I don't know how much a sprinkle is and the recipe doesn't say, so I'm just going to literally sprinkle it right there. Okay, and then I'm just gonna cook this over medium heat until um, it starts to forms like, form like curds and whey. Um, that's going to take 20 to 40 minutes. So um, real exciting stuff here. Show you guys when I'm a little bit farther along. See ya. Okay, it's the moment we've been waiting for. It's ready. It's ready to be poured into the cheese. Oh, so there it is. Um, you can tell that it's ready because it's got little like ridges in it. Um, it's not flat anymore. It's not quite as liquidy, although it will be kind of soupy when we pour it in here. So um, here goes. I'll set you over here. Okay, okay so I've got my cheesecloth lined bowl here and I'm just going to pour, ooh, pour this mixture into that bowl. Oh man, that was really close. <laughs> okay, um, and then the pot that I used is going to be pretty important too. I'm gonna keep that off to the side and then I'm gonna pull the cheesecloth up. I'm gonna leave a lot of that liquid behind. I'm gonna do this over the sink because it's messy. Just kind of let it drain. the point of this is now to drain out the liquid um, possibly overnight it may take you um, over the night to get it into the shape that it's going to be okay so you watched me drain it over the sink for a little while I transferred it back into this bowl because it's kind of a round shape and then I'm just going to tie up my cheesecloth kind of make it into yeah a ball shape as best you can. Um, the point of this is to drain out all the extra liquid that's inside of it. Um, so when you tie up the cheesecloth like this, you want to have the extra strings hanging here, and I'll show you why in just a moment. Okay, so the pot that I cooked this in, I put back on top of the stove, and over it, I've got a microwave, so I don't have any <laughs> cabinet handles, but the microwave will do. So what I need to do now is to take the cheesecloth and tie those two ends into a knot. <laughs> it's hard because the cheesecloth is wet. Um, so yeah, just tie that into a knot. Make sure it's secure so it doesn't fall. Um, and then make sure the pan is also <laughs> centered over it. Okay, so then the next thing that we need to do is to just let this sit until uh, it forms 
kind of a ball shape. It just it's gonna sit there. Um, you could do it overnight. I probably won't. I'll just do it until it stops dripping, and then I'll cut the cheesecloth down, and it'll be our perfectly shaped sea duck.